Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rukhakadash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the whole world that is scattered abroad at the four corners of the earth. So, this is an article from the Business Insider, and it's titled Biden Calls for Gun Law Reforms on the Third Anniversary of the Parkland Shooting. And the Second Amendment has been a hot, hot topic for quite some time now. And people, people have always feared that the Second Amendment would be infringed on. And we may just see that come into fruition now that Joe Biden is in office. So I'm going to read some of the article and then I'm going to jump to a video that I have um, actually spoke on the video uh, not too long ago. I did a video about it. It's it's um, called Planet Lockdown. And a woman by the name of Catherine Austin Fitz, she goes into how this whole pandemic is just a way for the elites to usher in their new world order. It's being used as the cover up. And she's the only person that I've ever heard break it down so well. She even speaks on um, the technological age that they want to bring in, you know, with the cloud and um, the, the microchip. So without further ado, I'm going to read some of the article. On Sunday, the third anniversary of the Parkland shooting, President Joe Biden urged lawmakers to propose and pass gun reform laws to make change in the United States. A lone gunman armed with an AR-15 opened fire at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida on February 14, 2018, killing 17 students and staff members. Now, I don't know if y'all remember, but when all these school shootings were happening, you had conspiracy theorists coming out and saying that these were all staged events. And they also said that the, sh the shooters and the or the gunmen, the gunmen, they had ties to the CIA or the FBI. Um, it's also been said that they were in a trance when they committed these shootings, that they had they were in an MK Ultra trance. And don't think that this is far fetched. You know, things have happened to ultimately, ultimately lead up to the big moment. Things have been done gradually over time. So remember, you had people that were conspiracy theorists saying that these events were, were staged, right? So let me read on. A lone gunman... Oh, jump down. Uh, next paragraph, Biden... In a Sunday statement from the White House, promised that his administration will act to ref to reform gun control laws, and will and will not wait for the next mass shooting to head that call, to heed that call. So they're coming for the guns, you know. That's that's been in their plans. Um, people that have firearms. Pose as, pose as a threat to the government, you know? There's over 300 million people in the United States, and a lot of them have guns. So that's a threat to the United States. They, they see people that have guns as a threat. Um, it goes on to read, um, we will take action to end our pandemic, to, to end our epidemic, of gun violence and make our schools and communities safer, Biden said. Today, I'm calling on Congress to enact com common sense gun law reforms, including requiring background checks on all gun sales, banning assault weapons and high ca capacity magazines, and eliminating immunity for, for gun manufacturers who knowingly put weapons of war on our streets. So, they want to come for the big guns, right? And the reason why they want to come for the guns is because 
they know that people who have guns are a threat to their plans. You know, when you look back into to history, you know, uh, people have risen up and fought against the government because they took up arms. They had arms. So you figure that if they take away, you know, people's people's firearms or damn near, um, you know, strangle it, you know, restrict it, then it, it'll be easier for them to do what they want to do. So that's it on the article. I'm not going to read any more. So now I'm going to play the audio to this video. And this information is pertinent. With a roll of cash and buy all the votes every election. So, you know, my guess is the reason Jay Powell was backpedaling when the head of the IMF was talking about digital identities is he's sitting there knowing he's got 325 million people and more, and a lot of them have guns and they don't have a lockdown yet. This is why the Second Amendment is such a fractious issue. Most people around the world don't understand why people in America are so rabid about owning guns. And, you know, the first reason they're rabid about owning guns is they don't understand the power of mind control. <laughs> so, you know, so if I can institute total mind control, which is what the system is, you know, guns aren't that dangerous to me. But, um, you know, the leadership is... To do what they want to do, it would be very, very convenient if they could bring in the guns. And you'll see if the Democrats win this election, that's the first thing they're going to try and do. Right. They want to take away the guns because they want to implement their plans. And their plan is to implement the new world order. They want the world to head into a technological age. They want to get rid of this current currency system and they want to implement a new one. They want to hook everybody up to the cloud. They want to implement the microchip. Why? Because it's full on total control for them. They want to enslave the global population and they also want to reduce the, the global population at the same time. You know, that goes into the Georgia Guidestones. They want the, the earth population to be cut down to 500 million people. But, you know, who gives them the authority to do that? But yet, I digress. Um, after making everybody wear face diapers, they're going to they're gonna try and bring in the guns. And this is why the Republicans holding the Senate has been such a big issue. Yeah. Because they can't do it if the Republicans hold the Senate. The election is such a mess, huh? So here's the thing. What I try and tell everybody, you know, because I... I grew up in Philadelphia. So, Joe Biden got inaugurated in January, and here we are in February, and the first thing, one of the first things that he's doing is going after the Second Amendment. So this is all pivotal. This is a pivotal move. You know, everything's being done gradually. And it really makes sense when you come to think of it because how are they going to be able to do what they want to do um, if people have arms, if they have, you know, guns with drum mags and, and, and such and such and so on and so on? You know, it, it'll be it'll be easier if they just restrict the Second Amendment or get rid of it, abolish it. And like I said, we've seen over the years these these um, these mass shootings and People have come out and said that they believe that it's uh, been, been staged events. You understand? And ultimately, this is this is been, this is gonna lead to the microchip. You know, I I gotta say it because the last couple prophecies that we're waiting to be fulfilled is Revelation thirteen and sixteen, the micro the microchip which is the mark of the beast and um you know Jacob's trouble cuz when all hell breaks loose and they want to implement their FEMA camps or their concentration camps 
it'll be a whole lot easier if they just they take if they take away people's weapons. You understand? And I was I was watching a video today. Elder Apostle Har put it, put it up, and I forget the brother's name. He was bringing it out how Biden means button, and Kamala means mark. So, is Joe Biden gonna be the president to press the nuclear button? Come World War Three, because you know that's in the scriptures. That's prophecy. World War Three, Armageddon. I mean, it looks like we're at the end. The writing is on the wall. We're at the end. And Kamala means mark, right? So the mark, when you go back into the, um, the Greek, is karagma, which, which is to, um, to imprint, to carve, to, to carve. So is Joe Biden going to be the mark of the beast president? Is this administration going to be the administration that's in rulership, that's in power? When the mark of the beast is implemented, it sure looks like it. Because I don't know if y'all know or remember, but back in 2005, Joe Biden, he was speaking to a congressman. And he was saying that, mark my words, you will rule whether it's constitutional to implement, basically implant microchips into people. Into people. He basically said that. You can look it up. You know, it's on record. You don't have to take my word for it. And um, another thing, too, going back to that video that I mentioned um, that Elder Apostle Hart put up, the brother said that, you know, we're at the time of the end and everything is coming full circle. Going back to Genesis with Eve and the serpent. Joe Biden is president and Kamala Harris is vice president. So that's Eve and the serpent. So everything is coming full circle. And it seems as though things are going to end the way that they began. And I never looked at it like that. But when I heard that, I was like, wow, that makes sense. So this is it. We're at the end. You know, these these last couple prophecies, you know, they're, the, they're right at the door. They're right around the corner. So... scripture that came to mind when I was putting this video together, when I was meditating on it, was uh, Revelation 12 and 12. There, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he has but a short time. So Esau, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, they're going to come down having great wrath because they know that they're about to lose their kingdom. They know that they're the Edomites and they know that we're the Israelites. And they know what their future holds. I mean, come on, Esau is smart. He, he studies. You understand? And uh, the Most High is using them. He's putting the spirit on them to develop these technologies, to develop the microchip and um and put it into people because they have to fulfill prophecy they have to fulfill prophecy so this is pivotal man they want to infringe on the second amendment you know joe biden's president and um this you know this is this is chess not checkers So it'll be a whole lot easier for them to do what they want to do if they restrict or abolish the Second Amendment nationwide. So I hope y'all found this video edifying. Shalom.